Okay, in this tutorial we're going to look at another means of surface population, this time through a process of instantiation, or just using basic Rhino geometry to uh, apply a component to a surface. So in this example I've got uh, three layers, uh, component geometry, a reference box, which is this green box here, and a default surface, <coughs> which is this surface here. Um, I'm going to turn the points off here. So this is just a single surface, um, which I'm going to populate over the base surface here. Um, I can rotate this out of the way. And it overlaps the reference box, which means when this reference box gets populated and scaled down um, and sort of um, arrayed along the surface, this um, component geometry, this blue surface, will always overlap. And so that will be uh, interesting. We'll see what we get there. Okay, so we're going to start a new grasshopper definition. Um, we're going to need three input objects. So they're all going to be, um, well, first we'll have a surface, so this black hexagon. And that will be our default uh, base surface. So we can right click and set on surface. <clears throat> then we need a rep geometry, which we can rename the reference box. Right click, set one rep. Let me try that again. Okay. And then we'll also need another. And that will be our uh, component surface. We can call this component geometry. And this can be either one surface or multiple surfaces or poly surfaces or anything. In this case, we're just going to set one rep, which is a surface here. Okay. So now that we have that, let's start with this base surface here. And we want to do a divide domain. Same as before. And let's get panels and set it to 4x4 four four for now. Using a smaller number of, of divisions will uh, speed up the file processing time while we're working on it and we can up this to 10 by 10 later. The next component we need is surface box. Surface box we need the input the base surface, the surface domain and the height of the surface box. So here we have the surface domain. And the current height is 1 by default. Um, we can just leave it at that for now. Next we need a box morph component. Here, box morph, which morphs an object into a twisted box. So the reference box, of course, is our reference box. Component geometry is the geometry. And the target box is going to be the 16 twisted boxes we have here. Okay, so it's giving us this uh, result here, and it's squishing these all these boxes, which were originally uh, this was a four by four by four cube. It's squishing them into um, one meter high or one unit high. Uh, we can change this height to four, which will scale everything up to be more uh, similar to what it was here in this example. 
Okay. And if we change this to say ten by ten, let's now scale this geometry down. We've got these sort of overlapping shingles here. We can turn this off. Okay, so that's a simple surface population by instantiation.